Okay, so on this side of the worksheet, uh, you simply, you actually have a graph to plug in these points to. You don't have to use the graph, but it makes a great visual representation of how to find the slope between two points. So you can use the formula y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 if you'd like, or it's a little easier just to use the graph that's given. So let's look at letter E. Uh, e says 1 comma 2, so let's go ahead and write that, 1 comma 2 is where E1 is, and then 4 comma 4 is up here. So those are my two points for E, and those I would put an E sub 1 and E sub 2. Let's draw a line between those points. Oh, that's a good looking line. All right, now let's count how many, and remember, we for the slope, we need to find the change in Y over the change of X. So let's first find how uh, the points change in the uh, vertical. Uh, let's find out how, how, how far up it goes from E1 to E2. So it looks like I go up two spaces, so positive 2. Then from there I go over to the right three spaces, so positive 3. So positive 2 over positive 3, I can't reduce the numbers, and we, since they're both positive, we'll just write 2 thirds. And then if it's 2 thirds, I go down to my chart here and write the letter E above 2 thirds. All right, let's do G just to make sure we have a hold on this here. All right, so G's first point is at negative 4, negative 2, which is in the third quadrant, so we'll put G sub 1. And 2, negative 5 is in the fourth quadrant down there, so 2, negative 5. So there's my line. All right, let's find the change between G1 and G2. Well, it looks like I have to go down three spaces, so negative 3, that's the change in Y. The change of X, it looks like I have to go over to the right, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And if we go to the right, that's positive. So negative over a positive will be a negative, and 3 over 6 could reduce down to 1 half. So my answer, or my slope, is negative 1 half. So I go to my chart where negative 1 half is and put a G. So this is a really good worksheet because you can plug in the points and count the change in the two points. Uh, but you could still do the formula if you wanted. You could really sit down to here and do the formula if you so chose. So for letter O... Let's take a look at that, and again, the formula is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So let's just say that this is point number 2, this is point number 1, and we subtract the y. So 1 minus a negative 3 over the x's, 4 minus 3. Two negatives that close together become a positive, so 1 plus 3 equals 4, and 4 minus 3 equals 1. And 4 over 1, we could leave the invisible 1, or we can just write 4. So letter O is 4, so we'll put a letter O right here. So you can graph it, or you could just use the formula y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1, and you can hopefully fill in the puzzle from there.